Uh, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Today we're going to be taking a look at our dashboard in Infor CRM. Uh, the version I'm running here today is 8302 update. Um, so it may look a little bit different than yours. This is almost the latest and greatest. I think we're up to 04 now. Um, but we're pretty close here. Uh, as we logged into the database, I logged into as admin, first of all, and it brought me right into my welcome page, which is my dashboard. Now, this is, this is set by default in your tools and options. So if I go up to tools and options, first of all, you'll see that uh, logging into the dashboard is an option. Um, if I prefer not to log into that dashboard, I could go to contacts, accounts, or wherever. So here under in my options, under the general tab, you see it says show on startup the welcome page. And here's the other areas I can go to all your different major entities here. So if I preferred to go directly into accounts or contacts, I'd just choose that here and make sure I save it with my save icon. We'll leave it set at the welcome page right now and I'm going to go back to that welcome page from the navigation bar down the left hand side of the screen. So currently in there when we see the welcome page we have my dashboard up at the top and there's a sales dashboard. And if I can click on that sales dashboard it shows me some other widgets that are located in there um, like my activity trend, my open opportunities, recent, recent lead creation history, um, viewing groups, several different groups here, and active campaigns. So I can create other tabs up here just by right-clicking and choosing New Tab. Let's name this Dale's Private Tab. And in here then I can set, do I just want it to be one column, two columns split equally, two columns with the larger one being left, or two columns with the larger one being right, and do I want to make that, whatever I choose as a setup here, do I want to make that the default for any other tabs that are created? I'm just going to say two columns that are split equally, and click on OK. And it brings me to a blank tab. So now we need to add content to that. So if I right click in there and choose add content, now it's going to show me all the different widgets that I can add in here. Now if I want anything beyond these widgets, then I would have to get into the programming uh, piece of it and have a programmer take a look and see if they could program a widget for me. But these are all the available ones that we can choose. So first of all, if I want to add that welcome piece, I'm going to just click on Add, and it adds that welcome piece right into my tab there. I'll go back in and add more content, and we see here we can have a funnel chart. So let's click on Add that funnel chart, and when I do that, I'm going to call it Open Opportunities. And the entity that this chart will be reporting off of is going to be opportunities. The group that I'm going to use, so the, this group has already been created, I'm just going to use all open. And the dimension, this is what I'm going to look at and who has what opportunities. So I can look at, let's look at account manager. And the metric I want to be tracking is total uh, sales potential, sum of sales potential. And it asks me, do I want to display the labels? I'm going to say yes. And do I want to truncate the labels if they get too long? I'm going to say yes. And I'll say the labels can only be 20 characters in length. That's all I have to do is set that up. That's a funnel chart again, so I'm going to click on OK. There it goes. It created my funnel chart with all my different managers in it. As I hover over each one, you notice that it gives me the sum of the sales potential in that funnel. So that's a great visual you could use for meetings or whatever. Um, and this is going to be up to date every time you come into this welcome page. 
it'll automatically update this. Let's look at adding some more content here. So that was uh, the funnel chart here. We have bar chart and column chart. Um, the group listing. So if I choose to add a group listing, I can call it like uh, all accounts. And the entity is going to be account. And the group, I want to see my all accounts. And I'll just have it show me 20 records. When I click on OK, there it goes. It created that group for me. Um, it, I'm sorry, it didn't create that group. That group was already created in accounts, but it's showing me the group here right within my uh, dashboard. So I don't have to go to accounts to access them. If I want to access this account from here, I just click the hyperlink. It would bring me right to that account. Now down below, I still have my funnel and I have my welcome page. If I want to move that over, I can just drag this over to the right-hand side here. It puts the welcome over on the right side now. Um, up at the top, I could also drag over that funnel and put that there also. So I have the group on the left, welcome page, and the open opportunities on the right. And I can, can continue on there um, with adding more content. That was a group list. Um, we have links. We could do a pie chart. Um, let me see. Do a pie chart off of, let's do leads. Call it leads. Entity of leads. And the group we're going to be looking at is all leads. And the dimension we want to look at, we're going to look at the import source, where they come from, and we'll just do a count of leads. And add a slice of pie for the other. I'll leave that. Display a legend. Display the labels. Truncate the labels to 20 characters. Click on OK. Here's my leads part pie chart. Oh, I don't have any in there, it looks like, or the ones I do have 43. I'm sorry, I've got 43 in there, all from one list, so it's all one color there. Opener opportunities group over on the right here. It's showing my, uh, my open opportunities. If I click on that, it brings me back to that group again, right within opportunities. So if I have a group listed in the dashboard and I want to get to it, I can just click on the hyperlink and it'll bring me over there. Let's see what else we have in here. Recently viewed items, you know, up on the top we have that recently viewed menu item. You could add that in here. Um, today's activities, if I click on today's activities there, it would show me any activities up to 10, because that's what it was listed there up to 10 activities that I have scheduled for today right within my uh, dashboard again. And let me see here today's activities. Website, well here it says choice of website. Let's try that again with choice of website. We'll go, uh, I don't know if I need the www or not. There we go. Well, there it is. Down in the bottom right-hand corner, then, you see the Customer Effects website. It brings me right into the website is right there. We can just click in here to access that, and it's spinning up on the top here going to try to access that. So lots of different things you can do here. You can have several different tabs up on the top. Um, each user could have their own tab so they could set up their own. Um, or you can use the standard dashboards that are already in here as you log in with the welcome page. They have some quick actions over on the right here for scheduling meetings, inserting contact, inserting an account. Um, did you know some help features here, how to use mail merge, so it'll get you right into the help files, or links out to some Enforce CRM help, uh, the Access Online support, or the Enforce CRM website. Uh, part of the community there. 
so you can access all that for help over on the right. And then on the left, they're showing your activities, your current notes, and recently viewed activities. So that's a pretty good base model set up with probably only if you're an account manager or uh, a sales manager that you'd want to set up things like the de uh, the funnel uh, that we had, uh, the pie charts, things like that to report on different metrics from the salespeople. Anything beyond that, like I said, you'd have to have a programmer, contact your business partner. They could help you uh, with that content, uh, helping you define the content and actually building the content for you. So from here, it's pretty easy as the end user to a certain point until you get into something custom, and then you'd have to have a programmer do it. Now, if you've got any questions, other questions on how to uh, maneuver your dashboard here, certainly contact us, let us know, and we'll try to help you out there or give you a solution uh, with programming on what we can do for you. I appreciate you all showing up here this afternoon, and have a great afternoon. Okay.